Rainbow kiddos? Oh, and moms and dads, and grandparents, and aunts, uncles, and cousins, and well, everybody is welcome. I'm so glad you're watching with us this morning. I have something simply amazing to share with you. But first, do you know what time it is? Nah, I'm not talking about hours and minutes. I'm talking about worship time. Wherever you are and whoever is with you, stand up and worship with us. I believe it. Do you? God is absolutely the reason that I want to lift my voice to the top of my lungs. Today we're diving back into Acts 13. Paul and his friend Barnabas are in a new town talking and sharing the story of Jesus, which we call the gospel, with Jews and Gentiles. Some people were really excited to hear the good news about Jesus and they chose to trust and follow him. Other people weren't all that happy about it and they were even mean to Paul and Barnabas. But that didn't stop them. They were on a mission. They were going to share the gospel with everyone. And guys, I love this part of the story because they did exactly what God calls us to do. In Mark 15, 16, Jesus said to his disciples, go into all the world, preach the good news to everyone. Sharing the gospel with people shouldn't be scary or hard. It's simple, as simple as drawing a circle. Can you draw a circle with me? Ooh, 
There we go. It's just that simple, and I knew you guys could do it. Here's a fun way that you can share the gospel with just a few circles. Let's start with this one. God had a wonderful design for the world, and the Bible tells us that it was perfect. He created us and everything on purpose for the purpose of worshiping Him. But sin pulls us away from God's design. It actually leads us to our next circle, brokenness. We try so hard to find our way out through things like getting the top score on video game, having the coolest friends, making the best grades, or being the first and number one player on the sports team. But those things, they don't really get us anywhere. We stay in this broken place until we realize that we need someone bigger than ourselves to save us. We need who? Jesus! This circle is all about how he came to rescue us and he took all of our sin and brokenness when he died on the cross. But you know what? He didn't stay there. Jesus was raised from the dead to restore our relationship with God. And to have a relationship with God, all we need to do is trust what Jesus did for us. When we do that, we can follow God every single day. Now you know just how simple it is to share the gospel, but the gospel also requires a response. Let's bring our adults into the conversation. Let's discuss how might people respond when you tell them about Jesus. Telling others about Jesus gets easier with practice. So this week, practice talking with a family member about Jesus. We're learning so much from Paul's first missionary journey, but the most important thing is that our mission is simple. God wants us to tell everyone about Jesus. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you really soon.